Good morning and welcome back to our homestead out in Southern Utah. Today we're working in the solar shed, specifically in the solar room. We're trying to get all of our components hung up. I have all my wires now, I believe, so I can start wiring everything up. But first we're gonna get everything on the wall, all the batteries and everything. And then we're still waiting on our extensions for our solar array, but they should be here today. And we'll hopefully they get here today, we'll see. If not, then tomorrow. But then we can get that buttoned up, start running wires through the trenching, and get this thing going. Get it, get it creating power from the sun. All right, well, I got all, well, not all. I have the charge controller, inverter, and that's like my load center right there. That opens up. It's like a pretty much a breaker panel. One battery's going right here, and then the other one's going right here, but I'm having an issue. That is the battery. The kilovolt hab version four, 7.5 kilowatt hour. I have two of them, and they weigh 230 pounds each, and I have to lift them up. I mean, like five and a half, six feet onto the wall. So I have an idea. I have a come along, two ton come along, and I have a pulley system inside here. So I'm gonna rig up like a pulley either on this rafter or I'm gonna put a piece of two by six along this, just over the, the double top plate. Put the pulley on there, put the wire through the pulley. Batteries, we have handles on each side. So I'm gonna put like a strap and then put the come along on top of it and then up through the loop and then pull it up into these three. One, two, three, and then it bolts on the sides. That's my plan. Wish me luck, because uh, replacing one of them things is not something I want to do ever. So we're gonna figure it out. Well, this is my contraption. So I got this 600 pound weighted strap attached to my come along, which is a two ton come along. Then I have this two by six across the top of the double top plate with a 650 pound rated pulley attached to the come along. And this is another one of those 600 pound weighted straps. So I'm just gonna use the come along, pull it all the way up until I can attach it to this rack right here. And hopefully we don't cause any damage. I'm a little nervous. It's a very critical part to our solar. I'm gonna have to do this twice, but everything's rated for way more than two to three times what the battery weighs. So it should be fine, but I just, it's just scary, so. Fingers crossed that nothing happens. Here we go.
What a day. Can you guys believe these things are up here right now? 230 pounds a piece, come along and straps and what else do we use? Truck lifts, like jacks, everything to get them up there. You gotta do what you gotta do. But we got them up there. All the components are up. Now we can pretty much start wiring. And my knowledge of wiring is, I'll tell you, pretty much zero. So we're gonna figure it out. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, gonna be a good day. Another day, back up here in southern Utah. We got our extension pieces for our solar array. I already put two of them on, so now we're gonna start maneuvering this thing to get it into place and then be done putting these panels up because it's just sitting here for then we'll weeks. Start wiring, and then, hopefully and then we're gonna have solar. We'll start wiring today, hopefully. We'll see how long it takes for us to do this. It's kind of windy. Too. Walking with those huge panels uh, is kind of hard sometimes because they're so heavy, they're like big sails. But we're just gonna take our time and get it, get it done. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I like always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds, uh They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence So flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day kept falling over but I'm super proud of my husband and I we did this we did this together like I said everything we're doing just just building us up more and more it's so wonderful Hubby, you're sexy and I appreciate you well we got it finished feels good 
cool. Finally to have that whole thing up and done now. What's next? We're gonna start wiring. We gotta pull some wires through there. Yeah. Through the conduit. By the way, we're matching today. Yay! <laughs> All right, we're maybe we'll take a break, eat some food, and then get to wire. Everyone's always like, what are your kids doing while you guys are working? Well, what are you guys doing? Playing with Lego. Lego day? Pulled all the wires through the conduit. Everything worked out great, except for our ground wire was like 15 feet too short. I ordered the same amount, so I don't know why they sent me a short one. I kind of irritated about that, but I do have a thinner pull tape through there, so I will be able to pull the um, ground as soon as I get it here. So I won't be able to hook these up, but I can start wiring the inside now. All right, so we just started wiring everything up. So far, I have this lightning arrestor right here. I think it's called. It's in case lightning hits your system that this is supposed to blow up instead of this. Um, but I have this connected to the positive P PV1 and then um, the negative PV uh, wire and then the ground is connected. These are my eight gauge wires from the panels. Um, we're still missing the ground wire because it wasn't long enough, so I have to get another one of those and run it through. Um, but this is gonna go, the positive's gonna go to PV positive, and then this one's gonna go to PV negative, and then the ground will come and go to the ground bar right here. Well, about a year ago, I had a dream of a beautiful garden and a greenhouse and all the amazing things and hubby is making my dream come true. On Mother's Day yesterday, he decided he was going to clear out a bunch of trees and we are currently headed into town to go get some fencing and posts and we are going to create the most gorgeous garden. I'm so excited. too many kinks so round two
solar array is up and it's an exciting part of our self-sufficient journey. We won't have to pay a power bill again, but unfortunately we don't know that much about wiring. So we have a lot of research to do. We're going to close the day heading to headquarters and getting some water and researching how to wire our solar system.